semi-finals then of the Premier League. Two playoffs for the under-21s. And an opportunity. And there is Tyrese Hall scuttling after it. Chelsea on the break with Achim Pong. Nice move here to get away from a Camrish. And he will get the shot away and it's a good save. A really good stop by Luca Gunter who is able to palm away to safety. And there have been plenty of those over recent weeks from Luca Gunter. And Tyrese Hall just about able to whip the ball away before the challenge arrived from Keanu Dyer. And then a clash of heads. Well, hopefully this isn't too much of a problem here. Well, hopefully Max Robson is OK here. And here comes Mason King in his place. Ball directly through the middle. And Beach powers the heady right from the start. Nice touch from Lancashire to pick out Santiago. Off goes Yago Santiago, clips one into the area, Spurs are in! He has an obsession with scoring goals and it's Will Lancashire again to make it Spurs 1, Chelsea 0. The opening goal for Spurs, scored on 15 minutes by number 9, the Premier League 2 top scorer, Will Lancashire. On to 21 now in the league. The perfect pass from Yago Santiago. Into the perfect position for Spurs number nine. Well, this was the touch that really got Spurs into the attacking position. And then Yago Santiago did ever so well to turn away from the defender, allowed inside, and then ghosting in between the two centre backs. There was Will Langshire with a simple finish. And it's Yago Santiago who has Alfie Devai making a brilliant run ahead of him. He makes the burst into the area here, lays on the pass and can't find Will Lancashire in the middle. Yago Santiago floats the ball to the back of the area. Well, Yusuf Akamrish was arriving. Tours coming up. I would imagine there will be a fair few of these younger players who will be catching the eye of Ange Postacoglu, a Kamrich with an eye-catching run, that's for sure. Unable to pick all. And he's picked up his midfield partner here, Devine, and Devine has space to roam, and he's allowed to attack. And he's still going here, Devine. And he can break away. Alfie Devine starting to have more and more of an impact on this game. He races away. And has two for company, does well to get the cross in. And it's one that Will Langshire. Spurs with some defending to do, wonderful ball into the box, really inviting cross for Chelsea. Dyer was looking for the give and go, Chelsea shot incoming. Fired wide though by Tyreek George, who always looked slightly off balance. And there was no trouble there for Luka Gunter. Worrying sign for Spurs here is that Chelsea managed to find this space on the edge of the penalty area. Luckily, though, they weren't able to do too much with it. Silcott Dubry stolen the ball. Chelsea are on the attack again on the left-hand side, this time trying to cut in, and they will cut in. And the effort in the end is rather tame from Tori Aynan. Well, the Finnish under-19 international came in and had a really good angle to work there. And Spurs will be pretty relieved that there was no work to do for Luka Gunter. Luka Gunter is caught out this time, though. Morgan, the number nine, slips the pass. And it's a horrendous miss in the end from Tori Aynan. Well, this looked almost certain to be the equalising goal. Luca Gunter, who's been brilliant over recent weeks, was the one who was caught out. Perfect pass here from Morgan. And what an unbelievable miss to follow. Want to play the way that they want to play. Achim Pong. 
edging forwards. Oh, what an effort that was. Well, Torriana looking to put right, put right the big miss from moments ago. Very nearly did that. Did his run, and so it was difficult for him to get there. One back by Tyrese Hall. George Abbott with space. He will go for goal. And didn't really catch it as perhaps he would have liked. And in the end, it's a comfortable stop for the goalkeeper. Just opened up there for the Tottenham Hotspur midfielder, having such a brilliant second half to the campaign. And maybe you wonder if there was a better option with Lancashire close by. Off here. Score two in the previous round in this competition. And Hall is on his way again. Was he brought down? Is that hard to tell from that angle on the replay whether or not there was any contact? And there goes the whistle for the break. Well, drama just before the half-time whistle, but it is Will Lancashire's goal that separates the two teams in what has been a far more controlled... Well, Spurs have made a fair few changes to the lineup today. Alfie Devine, one of those, gets us under... Mason King with a... Long ball forward and Will Langshire may be in. The goalkeeper was quickly onto it though. His square pass into Sunsup Belt. Trying to find the angle for the shot, which he does. Well, he's certainly seen the rest. Lovely touch into Tyrese Hall by Alfie Devine. And Spurs spring the break. And Iago Santiago is into the penalty area. Looking to work the angle, gets the shot away. And sends Eddie Beach, the goalkeeper flying to push away to safety. Still not safe though with Spurs on the attack again and a Camrish. Oh, that's a lovely touch around the corner. Santiago all of a sudden on the burst for Spurs. And this looks promising here. Langshire is waiting in the middle. Santiago forced wide though. Super recovery. Tarek George. Does well, works the angle. Here comes the cross from Chelsea into a dangerous position. Now Spurs had the chance to clear that one away. They didn't clear it particularly well. And luckily, ends up in the arms of Spurs goalkeeper Luca Gunter. Off goes Demola Rajai. He is an awkward customer. Holds the ball up well and goes for goal because there wasn't too much in the way of support. Well, it always looked likely with his back to Washington, who is away. He finds support. Chelsea trying to line up the shooting chance. They do eventually do that. And just as they... Well, it was a slip at just the vital moment for George. Chelsea have kept hold of it here. Keanu Dyer. Lovely pass. Here is Sturge. Nice move for Chelsea. They've opened Spurs up. They have found the equaliser. It's Washington, the substitute, who's there to provide it. Tucked into the bottom corner. Spurs were static. Chelsea on the move. And it's Spurs 1, Chelsea 1. Equaliser for Chelsea. Scored in the 76th minute by number 16, Luis Alexander Russell Denny. Well, they did really well here, Chelsea. Cool Spurs completely at a standstill. Well, now Chelsea have that confidence that comes with a goal in their step and they've worked good angles again. Washington, the goal scorer, goes so close to adding a second. Finds the foot of the post, had Gunter scrambling. And were it an inch or... Looking to launch one into the path of Niall John, intercepted by Chelsea, and they'll look to launch one of their own. And they are away, and Washington, who already has one, is in for a second. But he's in an offside position. Flag came late. He spreads the pass. And it works out pretty nicely here for Spurs. Damola Rajai finds room, gets the shot away. The deflection, though, luckily for Chelsea, carries the ball. Ash Phillips with sheer determination wins the ball and now Devine is there looking to create Devine's pass it's a brilliant one and Tyrese Hall is there to snatch it for Spurs but he's hit it short for Spurs and you wonder whether or not they will look back on that with big regrets Chelsea are in Chelsea pushing Gunter 
And Chelsea, for some reason, decide to keep the ball in play. And Devine can try to make the most of it here. Niall John with skill, works his way into the area. Spurs looking for the corner. And it's one that they won't get. Well, Niall John trying to wrap his foot around this one. Never really got the bend on it that he was hoping for. On the spin, McNeely looking for the curling effort into that far corner. And putting one wide of target. Well, when he span away from Abbott, you thought maybe, maybe this was the second. Kept alive by Santiago. Here's Tyrese Hall for Spurs. Santiago was on the overlap, and I don't think Hall knew that he was coming. Here's George Abbott, did think about the shot. No, John might wind one up, does. Goes to goal and scores! No, John may just have scored the goal that will take Spurs to the Premier League Two playoff final. Second goal for Spurs, scored in stoppage time at the end of the game. What a brilliant second half to the season no, Niall John is having. We've seen some special goals from this group this season. We may have seen the most important of them yet here. Oh, Yago Santiago can't commit, he knows that. And the ball again lifted in and watched all the way by Luca Gunter. Well, there have been plenty of... That's a decent ball, and it's Luca Gunter with a fine save. What a second half to the season for Luca Gunter. A player who was brilliant for our under-18s last season. Denies Washington a second with a big palm away. And in any case, the flag was raised. Chelsea. Spurs fans are asking for the whistle. We are a minute over the time that was allowed. Chelsea delivering. The ball is loose. And it's crash goalwards by Marrera. And it's a fabulous stop right at the end of this game by the smiling Luca Gunter. And he can smile because he may just have made the save that takes Spurs all the way to the final of the Premier League two playoffs. What a stop. There is something about playing at this Tottenham Hotspur Stadium that brings these under-21 players to life. And it was Niall John, who with three minutes to go, came alive right on time. And that means this team are heading to the final of the Premier League Two playoffs. And this team will have another shot at silverware. Thank you for joining us on Spurs Plate. An epic afternoon. Bubbles up at the end, perhaps unnecessarily. Spurs have won it. It's Spurs 2, Chelsea 1.